Long-term assets, real people, real companies, real stories. It's important to make the connection between what you're learning in class and to hear real stories about how it's used by real people in real companies. With that in mind, I bring you the story of Jerry Drake and his landscaping business. What do I do with this equipment? Jerry Drake has been working hard at a new landscaping business for several months. Things are great, sales are increasing every month, and his customer base is increasing. So far, Jerry's been renting lawn equipment or borrowing equipment from his friends. But he's now considering buying several new lawn mowers, trimmers, and leaf blowers. How is he going to account for this new equipment? Jerry's trying to figure out how to record the purchase of these items on his books. Should he expense it all right now? Or should he set up asset accounts for each of the items? Jerry's also considering how long each item will last before he needs to purchase new equipment. What about depreciation methods? Jerry knows that his accountant will ask him about depreciation. She's told him that there are several methods he should consider. Jerry knows he wants a depreciation method that will match the cost of the equipment with the revenue that the business earns. How should he handle repairs and maintenance? In addition, Jerry plans on keeping the equipment as long as he can, which means that he will be making repairs and maintaining the equipment. He's wondering how the cost of the repair should be recorded. And then what happens when he finally sells the equipment? How is he to record that? Jerry realizes that there's a lot to consider when a business buys equipment. He knows that his accountant, which happens to be me, will help answer his many questions so that he can properly record the cost of the equipment and any future associated costs. How are plant assets, natural resources, and intangibles accounted for? Plant assets, natural resources, and intangibles are some of the most important assets on the balance sheet. These assets help create the revenue of the business. For example, True Green, a company that specializes in lawn and landscape services, wouldn't earn a profit without the lawn equipment it uses to service its customers' lawns. ConocoPhillips wouldn't have made a $12.4 billion profit in 2011 without its natural resource of oil reserves. And we're familiar with McDonald's Golden Arches trademark, which is an intangible asset that definitely has contributed to their revenues. So in this chapter, we will discuss how to record the purchase, cost allocation, and disposal of all of these assets.